story of Kipchoge Kino, one of Kenya's greatest Olympic athletes winning the gold medal twice, Kipchoge Kip Kino is also one of the world's most admired sporting heroes. Kip was among the first in a long line of successful middle and long distance runners who came from his country. He has helped and inspired many of his fellow countrymen and women to become great athletes that they are today. The story we want to share is about the time Kip was almost late for his own race and had to literally run to get there. Then won a gold medal anyways despite suffering from a gallbladder infection. Kip's grit, also known as courage and stubbornness despite difficulty and determination in winning a gold and silver medal in the 1980s. In the 1968 Olympics in their him to sports lovers around the world. <coughs> that work, desire and single-minded determination to succeed against all odds has today made him one of the greatest benefactors to underprivileged children in Kenya. Kaino is also best for his training at 1,800 meters above the sea level which helped introduce high altitude training as a technique to improve running time at any altitude. A member of the Nandi tribe, he was born in Kipsano, Kenya. He came with from humble beginnings and his name Kipchog is a Nandi expression that means born near the grain store shed. As both of his parents died when he was very young, Kip moved in with his aunt who raised him. When once asked about his childhood and how he got started in running, Kip responded, When I started at primary school, I ran in my bare feet 4 miles, 6.5 km to school in the morning, home for lunch again afternoon, school and back at the end of the day. I did this every day until I left school. After finishing school, Kip did not immediately get into competitive running. Instead, he worked as a physical training instructor for the Kenyan police force before becoming an athlete. Kaino began his international running career in 1962 when he set a Kenyan record in the in Tokyo. Kaino represented Kenya in their first games as an independent nation, finishing fifth in the 5,000 meters. Later, in 1964, he set two world records, two world records at 3,000 meter with a time of 7 minutes 39.6 seconds and at 5,000 meters with a time of 13 minutes 24.2 seconds. His greatest feat, his greatest feat, came two years later during the 1968 Olympic Games in Mexico City. Unfortunately, for the entire duration of the games, Kip was suffering from an acute gallbladder infection. He had almost collapsed while running the 10,000 meters. It was especially cruel when you realized that Kip was in the lead when he was overwhelmed by the pain and he had only three laps to go. By stepping off the track, after he collapsed, he had automatically disqualified himself. Determining to finish the race, anyway, he stumbled back onto the track and despite in pain, managed to do the final lap, even though it did not count. The eventual winner, winner of that race was one Naftali Temu, another Kenyan who now holds the honor of being Kenya's first gold medal winner. Prior to running the 10,000 meters, Kip had been told by a doctor not to run and that any strain to his body was at risk of causing him serious harm. And in an extreme case, he couldn't could even lead to his death, but that did not stop him from participating. Two days after the 10,000 meters, the race he collapsed in Kip ran in the 5,000 meters and won a silver medal finishing just one-fifth of a second behind the gold medalist. On top of that, he ran. He then ran another 1,500 meters race and qualified for the finals of the event. On this day of the 1,500 meter final, Kip 
because of his ailment, wound up oversleeping. When his absence was noted, people thought that he had chosen not to race on medallion grounds. Nevertheless, nevertheless, only a half hour before the actual event, he hopped out of bed and headed off to the games. On the route of the Olympic Stadium, the bus was stuck to traffic, realizing that he was, was going to be late. Kip got up and ran the remaining two miles to the Olympic Stadium while carrying his equipment. Then, he then registered with 20 minutes to spare, got himself ready and walked out of his truck and won a gold medal, outpacing the second place runner by an outstanding 20 meters, the longest distance anyone had ever won by in the event at that time. Not only this, the man he beat such a huge margin, Jim Ryan, has not been defeated in the 1,500 meters in three years. Also, the Kip had now raced five times in the Olympics, but Ryan, well, Ryan was completely fresh. On top of that, Kip was on rule two. In the end, Kip finished with an Olympic record of time of three minutes, 34.9 seconds. The second fastest in the history at that point. At the 1900 Olympics in Munich, West Germany, he won his second Olympic gold medal in the 3000 meter steeple chase and won a Silver medal in 1,500 meters. Kano retired from the track in 1973, a Kenyan hero, but there was much still to come from his remarkable men. Kip and his wife Phyllis purchased a farm in Eldoret, Eldoret, which they converted into an orphanage to keep Kano children's home. We, we started with two children. Then it went to six, then ten. Now it's up to ninety. We give them shelter and love. Many of these children who live with us are orphans, have gone to university, some are doctors, and many see them with their own families, living well in society. I will I will feel very happy, he says. The Kino family raised a lifelong dream in 2000 with the creation of the Kip Kino School founded by various donations. Almost 300 children attended this school. And here comes the short story version. Kip Kino is the most admired sporting hero of Kenya. During the 1968 Olympic Games, Kip was suffering from an acute gallbladder infection. He competed in the Games despite warnings from the doctors. In the 10,000 meters race, Kip's pain became unbearable and he collapsed on the infield with just three laps to go. Thought it did not count, Kip went on to finish the race. On the day of the 1500 meters final, Kip had to rush to the stadium in order to compete. Kip won the gold medal by an astounding 20 meters margin. At the 1972 Olympics, Kip won his second Olympic gold medal in the 3000 meters steeplechase and also won a silver medal in the 1500 meters race. He retired from the track in 1973. He converted his farm into an orphanage and took in around 100 children. He then went on to build the Keep Kino School. His success on the track and his commitment to the welfare of Kenya made him the nation's most beloved heroes. Do you have any questions? Then comment on below. Thank you so much for your patience and attention. Snowy Scott, bye. Thank you so much.